All right, so Lori harvested honey today, and we've got, what, seven of the eight frames have honey on them? Mm -hmm. And here's a good example. Okay, turning it the wrong way. Turn it up the other way. It's Vertical. It's the same either way, babe. This is um, capped. And you can see the, the cells that are not capped. They're just liquid. The bees were in the process of trying to dry them off to a certain humidity. When the humidity got low enough, in other words, the honey was viscous enough, then they cap the, the cell, which means they put a wax cap over the top, and it'll last forever at that point. But the, when you tip this um, frame upside down, and the honey doesn't drip out, then it's considered... Uh, this side shows that where it's not capped. Then it's considered, you can still harvest the honey and it'll probably be okay and not ferment. But I said to Lori, who cares if it ferments? Isn't that mead? And she said, yes, that's mead. So for those of you getting a Christmas present of honey, with any luck, it'll turn to mead because it's um, it wasn't capped. So we'll see what happens. So now we're going to watch Lori first time ever. Uh, because we only have this one hive. It really doesn't pay for us to pay for an extractor. So we're just going to do the, the crush and drain method. So this is called a crush and drain method. And apparently on, on YouTube this is not popular because people think it's cruel to the bees or something. Let's see what you're doing there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she's using a spatula to scrape off the top of the caps. You see that honey cascading down and she scrapes it with the spatula down into the bucket. That one frame, I'm guessing, weighed about five pounds at least. Between five and 10 pounds, so there should be a good bit of honey in there. Looks like this is a pretty hard work. So she's scraping the top off the caps. And now, after she's done this, presumably, we're just gonna let gravity do the work. And over the next couple of days, the honey will ooze out. Well, in our bucket is a, is a, a, a net. Oh, yeah. Sorry, what you can't see inside the bucket is a little muslin net, which will hold, it'll catch all the, the wax. And then the, presumably the honey will just, by gravity, will continue to, to drain out. Pretty impressive. And certainly a first here on Shining Light Farm. First honey harvest ever. The bees, by the way, from the hive from which this came, have tons and tons and tons of honey to get them through winter. That this should not really affect them in any way as far as their ability to survive the winter, at least from a uh, 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 an amount of food, amount of honey, an, an amount of food perspective, it should be fine. And then, of course, we can't get all the honey off these frames, so we'll put these frames back there for them to yeah. reclaim all of that Yeah, what, let me translate that into English. So we're going to scrape this off. The um, gravity is going to drain it almost all off, and the leftovers will sit outside and the bees will come back and rob the honey or rob their own honey and take it back into their hive. Um, so nothing's gonna go to waste. We'll, we'll collect what we can, but whatever we cannot, the bees will come back and get the rest and take it back to their hive and put it in new, new honey cells on the, uh, on, the, on the frames that we did not take. So, pretty cool. First harvest. I'm really proud of this. Our little bees did awesome. Lori did awesome. Um, pretty cool. Thought we'd share.